What's up guys, Philip at Trade Genius. We're gonna take a look at some levels this week to keep an eye on on Bitcoin and see if we can get a bottom here and uh, potentially a decent bounce. Uh, so let's dive into this video and check that out. Trade Genius. Yeah, guys, really briefly, this is the true USD um, Bitcoin inverted pair, and we uh, actually signaled out uh, an entry over here at uh, around 27,800, and uh, currently have locked in some profits on that signal and looking for a target eventually of about 7.4% on this move here. Um, if you guys want to join us in the uh, rooms and get those signals, and again, this is uh, just one of uh, three things. We also have the stock ETFs and the binary options, uh, those services. Um, head over to tradelikeagenius.com, and you can pick up any one of these specials, and they'll get you, um, special number one uh, would get you into uh, those three signal services. But uh, we also have video courses and things like that. So uh, just wanted to show that with, uh, share that with you guys. Um, we can... If you're just taking out, I mean, 7% is a really decent move. Even if you took out 1% out of the market every day compounding, that really adds up for the year. So it doesn't matter if crypto is going up or down, but, um, you know, there's a lot of opportunity. So I invite you guys to join us. All right, so let's take a look at Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin, a couple things I wanted to show you. Um, one is the weekly outlook here. We've got this big range that we drew on our previous videos. This stems from this move over here. Let me get my pointer up. All right, guys, so this range here, okay, this is a key reversal range on our big bull run of, of 2017. And so this range that we're in currently, uh, looking for this to basically hold price for a while. I don't think we're gonna fall out of this. We've got a lot of support. Even if you look at the exchanges, like this is uh, Coinbase's order book. If you look at how stacked up those buys are starting right around 3,000 and, and compared to the sell supply, right? Um, so we're, we're, we're getting into an area where there's a lot of people that are going to be wanting to purchase uh, Bitcoin at these lower levels. I mean, that's they're showing the hand there. A lot of times what will happen is you may put in a short-term bottom ahead of the supply there. Uh, quite often that's what happens in the markets. That's the way markets work. So we are looking for a bottom in this area. But key thing here would be uh, to see this low hold what you could possibly see is a spike down below this prior low of 3212 um, doesn't have to be by much and then a close above that on the weekly candle would be a really bullish sign and i would expect to see then the following week to take out the high of the weekly candle if that were to happen so as far as the macro picture i like to use our short swing trader again uh, this signal you can get this indicator uh, I have it set for the weekly setting of 35, 20, 20, and 3. And what that does is that gives us a pretty decent um, signal, uh, and it doesn't fire very often. We had a long signal back in December of 2016. Didn't get a short signal on that on the weekly until January of 2018, okay? So these are meant for more bigger macro turns. Again, if you want to get that indicator, go over to tradelikeagenius.com. But that, if you know, ultimately, I think for this to put in a bottom, and this indicator typically likes to wait for a bottom to be put in. So, once I see a signal on this to the upside, I will be um, a lot more bullish than I currently am now. Right now, we're just hunting for a bottom. <clears throat> but I do think that again, I think we're running into a lot of supply or bids for for Bitcoin uh, down here. So, uh, I think potentially what we'll see. Uh, given a couple of weeks and what you typically see is when you get a move away from this uh, this is the WMA 20 uh, moving average and I like it because it kind of signals momentum when you got a high momentum move and so you're usually going to get a pretty pretty good bounce into it after you get stretched away from it okay uh, and it works both on the upside and the downside so right now we're pretty stretched away from it so we could probably, once we take out one of these weekly highs, we'll probably potentially see a decent move. And again, this is going to drop by the week, but we're gonna see a return to it. So you're probably gonna be looking for 
uh, probably somewhere in the vicinity of a $1,500 to $2,000 bounce in Bitcoin. Uh, but again, we'd be keen in on the weekly levels to see a weekly uh, prior high get taken out to kind of confirm that. But that's in the cards. Uh, you're almost always going to see a bounce up and these two price will meet that. And then shorts are gonna step in at that level. Uh, if it coincides with, the, with this 4,500 level, uh, then you're probably gonna see a pretty decent amount of selling into that, but we'll see. Um, the 4,500 level isn't like super strong. It's decent, but not super strong. We could break through that. But again, I'm expecting this uh, WMA20 uh, moving average to get tagged here probably within the next two weeks would be my guess we'd see a move up on that okay uh, ultimately I think too we'll probably touch this trend line uh, on any upside move and that's going to cap the upside move for a while because ultimately I think what's happening here guys is we're just getting into this like longer now we're going to get into a longer consolidation phase and this is kind of where people get bored with crypto but there's actually a lot of opportunity in there to trade and uh you know, take out some bite-sized chunks and, and add it up. So not uh, not that that's a terrible thing. That's part of the, the, mic, the market cycle process. So that's just what it is. And then we get into another bullish cycle up. Okay, guys, so that's the weekly outlook on Bitcoin. Um, you know, I think, uh, again, I think we're probably due for a decent bounce here and we'll retest some of these levels that we talked about. Um, but we'll keep an eye on it, and if anything develops in the week, then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do a video and kind of go over the uh, technical levels that we're dealing with at that point. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, if you are interested in any of our indicators or uh, signal services, uh, head over to tradelikeagenius.com. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, take care. Trade Genius.